Hi uh, guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm Tragic Fantasy, this is Grand Kidden, and this is Shinani. Is, is there a reason that certain things... Oh, I've really got a cold. Is there a reason that certain things... Just keep going on. Like, yeah. Like Pokemon, like Zelda, Mario. Yeah. They're like all the ninja subs as well, they're like catching up. They can be around for a while, I think. Is it just a formula? It's not, yeah. I don't know, because franchises like Mario will be, they'll all be, always be a different kind of Final Fantasy. Like. I don't know, they're about to be installments and them pretty close to crashing, but yeah. What do you think? They're running at number 12 now, they're porting it to the PS4 <laughs> and the PS2. Oh, no. Yeah. So, yeah, it did start for Pokemon though, essentially. Um, I mean, it's all of them, but yeah, I mean, I suppose using Pokemon as a base. Why won't it die? I mean, obviously it's one of the most amazing franchises ever made. Um, but is there a reason? Or is it just that good? I don't know. I mean, maybe because, maybe it's more nostalgia at this point. It seems like more of the old, well, I don't know if like Call of Duty, but there's always the chunk. Mm. Mm. But anyway, I think it's more nostalgia. Say... You know, you were playing your like Pokemon Yu Gi Oh. Pokemon Yu Gi Oh. Why not? But since like a young that age, same with like the Zelda games, Mario franchise, and mm -hmm. so we've grown up with it for so long and grown attached to it that even if there's another one now and we're not sure about it, we'll probably still get it because it means a lot. Yeah. I mean, I think for me it was uh, it was just a lot of games have fantasy elements, but I think Pokemon was so so ingrained in fantasy it was just so far from your world it was i'm gonna play pokemon and catch some mystical creatures it was just so ridiculously detached from reality yeah the but games. i kind of i thought i just fell into it. it was different and there was there was an end goal like so call of duty you can be prestige you can level up you can take out as many people as you want but you'll never be the best so to speak there's nothing really to aim for whereas pokemon it's you aim for catching them all. And being them all. There was a clear goal of what it meant to be like just a god at Pokemon, mm. which I am, or I was, <laughs> until Pokemon Sun and Moon came out. But up until that point, I had everything. But yeah, like, I don't know, like, there's people who genuinely dream of being a Pokemon monster. Yeah, that's, that is that nostalgia now. I mean, Pokemon Go was mad when it came out, but that died quickly. Mm. Well, there are still players now. I mean, I still turn mine on every now and again, but... Mm. I was waiting for it to die because it's crap. But... <laughs> but, like, I mean, I saw kids running around playing it and stuff, and even they might have not understood what it was like to play back in the day. Yeah. But even then, I suppose it was a more family game. But it was nice to see that people at a younger generation could appreciate it for that moment in time. <sighs> like... <laughs> M mind you, sorry, I felt like they wanted to catch gyms more than anything, so that's the competitive side, going back to like Call of Duty and stuff. It wasn't about See? collecting, it was about dominating. Yeah, the passion yeah. was was different, because I'd speak to people who was playing Pokemon Go, and I'd say, you know, what have you caught, have you got this? And they'd be like, I don't actually know what that is, but my Charizard can take out a gym, and it's... <laughs> yeah. It was... <sighs> I get why people liked it, but it... It was one of those... It was an entry into the franchise without actually educating people on the franchise, yeah. which is probably why I didn't like Pokemon Go. I, I never played it. I tried a couple times, and it was like... It also required walking. Yeah, yeah that's not... <laughs> that's, you know, why walk when you could stay home and game? All day. Every day. See? Still that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, but it's the same with, like... Zelda and all these things, do you think it's just, do you think it essentially is just nostalgia? Well, for me, well, no, because if for anyone who's played Dragon Age, that was going on, it was, was obviously it wasn't long, but mm. the gap between two and three was a good few years, and even though two was quite poor in my opinion, when three came out, I was still like, no, I'm, I'm adamant, I'm going to get it, because I mm -hmm. really, same with Mass Effect, like, like Bioware, one of my favourite companies, so, with Andromeda coming out next month, can I use that timeline? Yeah. Okay. With Andromeda coming out next month, I am so excited. Even if the trailers might disappoint me, I'm not saying they did, but let's, for example, mm -hmm. then I'm still like, no, I really want to get it because I really enjoyed the Mass Effect franchise. I know Shepard doesn't exist anymore, which, well, Shepard to me was a fantastic character. I agree. What, Femme Shep? <laughs> Never played it. <laughs> 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 but. 
I'm still excited for the continuation of the franchise. I played, you know, when I bought my Wii U, I got two free games. I got, <laughs> oh, yeah. I got FIFA 13 and Mass Effect 3. So I tried to play it on there, and you don't, you don't want to play Mass Effect on the Wii U. Especially not the third installment when you haven't played the other two. So it's it's not a franchise I can say I know about. I know there's a hot blue alien. Oh, and a sorry. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm weird and I like coloured aliens. He likes blue people. Yeah, and Gamora as well. Avatars, you know. Oh, it's not real. that it was real, you know, at over 21. She'd be able to stand on top of your weenie. Exactly, right? <laughs> Slide down your it, would, it would be like a... It would be like the best popsicle she'd ever had, no? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, guys. Some idiot forgot to delete all the footage off the camera, and therefore it filled up really quickly because there was no space left. You guys got that that idiot was me, right? Anyway, guys, as always, stay winning, stay kidding, and let me introduce you to the motto. I'm a big kid today, and I will be a big kid tomorrow. Oh, and as far as the background image, you probably need to be British and over 20 years old to get that reference. (laughs) Peace out.